Hi everyone, welcome to another YouTube and Facebook Live with me, the Acrylic Diva. Today we're going to talk about drawing with a water-soluble graphite pencil. I'm doing a little fun painting with that. Big shout out to everybody out there in Facebook and YouTube land. And before I forget, don't forget to join me tonight for Creative Flow at 7 p.m., which is on my other channel, Acrylic Diva Workshops. And this week we're on Wednesday just for this week because of some travel stuff I'm having to do. So, or nearly we're Thursday nights, okay? So that's enough about that. Um, the first thing I want to talk about real quick before we jump into a little demo on the sketch wash pencil, the general sketch wash pencil that I'm going to show you today. I want to just turn you on to a wonderful little book that I've been reading, Painting and Experience in 15th Century Italy. Let me show this to the overhead camera. Let's go to the overhead real quick so you can see that. There you go, Painting and Experience in 15th Century Italy. Fascinating if you are a paint geek like me. It tells you all kinds of cool stuff about all the big Renaissance painters. It talks about their contracts. It even talks about their um, the type of paint that they used and their patrons and all kind of good juicy bits that you can't really get just any place. So painting and experience in 15th century Italy. I will be sure to put a link in the show notes when this gets posted on YouTube so you can link right directly to it and pick it up on Amazon. It's not terribly expensive, you know, I'm, you know, 12 or 13 bucks, something like that. And uh, highly recommended. Mmm, yummy stuff. Definitely yummy stuff for you to have at your disposal at your next fancy dinner party. Okay? You can wow all your friends with tidbits about Caravaggio or something. Okay? Okay. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about the general sketch wash pencil. This is a really fun water soluble graphite that you can use and um, just with a little bit of water and a tiny bit of paint you can get a big bang out of this pencil. It doesn't take much you all to get some really good stuff. So I'm going to just uh, go to the overhead quickly again and just show you a little riff I did on this super fast you know this was done in about 10 minutes, I guess, something like that. And then here's another one on the back side that I demoed uh, yesterday, I think. But this is just a really cool pencil. I'm going to show it to the camera. Hopefully you can see that. General Sketch Wash. And I will be sure to put that link in the show notes so you can link directly to it. But I highly recommend it. So without further ado, let me show you what I mean with this little guy. Um, you, you're basically working with a water-soluble graphite. So the really cool thing about that is you can use it both as a gray, a black and a gray, or you can use it um, as a line. So you could draw with it and not use any water or anything. I'm just going to, excuse me for just a quick second you guys. I've got um, some some weirdness on my camera. Let me just check it. Okay, it looks good. Sorry about that. Alright, um, back to the general sketch wash. I was getting a glare on my camera and I wanted to make sure you guys could see everything. Uh, so you can use it uh, as a line like I'm doing here. Can you tell I just went to see the Diebenkorn exhibit? I'm all Ocean Park over here. <laughs> um, but I really like it for doing quick studies. You can do compositional studies with it. And you know, you're thinking, gee, black and white, that's not all that great, right? How, how cool could that be? Well, check this out. First I'm going to take a little water, just a little bit of water, and I'm just going to bleed that. Look at that. You just get some of the coolest stuff with this. You can really vary the type of grays that you get. Look at that. Yum! I love that, right? That's awesome. And then take the back of my paintbrush and scrape into it, right? 
that might be hard to see on the camera come back with the uh, sketch wash and scrape it and draw into that add a little water to those lines and I'm just working on a little um, piece of mat board I'll show you guys this here just a little piece of mat board see how thin that is not fancy at all and if you're going to do this on canvas you need an absorbent ground I'm going to talk to the camera here for a second um, so if you're going to do this on canvas you want to use an absorbent ground of some sort watercolor paper of course is going to be perfect on watercolor paper or anything that's absorbent but as far as doing it on canvas it's not going to work that great on canvas unless you put down something really absorbent so I highly recommend something like fine pumice from Golden fine pumice absorbent ground duh it says absorbent ground so what's it do it's absorbent right <laughs> it's super thin and it doesn't have much texture either so that's kind of cool lay down if you're going to use the absorbent ground lay down three to four coats of that to really get a nice absorbency on your canvas and it's very thin and it looks like gesso but it's super absorbent so that's going to work great fine pumice absorbent ground you could use fiber paste but fiber paste is really rough so I would recommend if you're going to use fiber paste for this technique I would recommend you um, dilute the fiber paste 50 50 with distilled water that will give you a smoother surface and you can lay it down really smooth let it dry and then you won't have that big heavy texture that fiber paste has so those are three of the um, surfaces you could use you, oh you could also use acrylic ground for pastels so fine pumice absorbent ground fiber paste and acrylic ground for pastels okay those will all give you a super yummy absorbent surface that you can use the sketch wash pencil on and do these very cool things so let's go back to the overhead and let me show you what happens here with the sketch wash so I've got some lines here and I put some water down and that's cool right we like that so now let's get a little paint let's put a little yellow out and a little um, phthalo blue just a, a smidge of phthalo blue you know it's so incredibly strong and then a little titanium white okay so I've got that I'm gonna move it over here because my camera seems to have a glare today um, now I'm gonna take a little bit of water grab a little of that yellow and I'm gonna go right into one of these sketch wash lines that's got the water soluble graphite see how it grays down that yellow I really like the fact that it gives me that muddy color um, it's that's one of the things I really like about it so you're getting muted color and you're not really having to do anything I you know I'm the lazy artist I want it easy right I want to look good but I want it to be easy <laughs> so there's a little of the um, water with the paint now if I take my sketch wash and fill in pretty heavy here let's make it really heavy just really scrub it in there a lot of black now I'm gonna take a little glazing liquid you could also do this with polymer medium glazing liquid will keep the paint wet a little bit longer so I'm just gonna put a little glazing liquid out grab the glazing liquid now there is enough water in the glazing liquid that it will disintegrate or or not disintegrate but it will cause the graphite to bleed look at that it's so pretty you guys now why bother using glazing liquid when I can do this with water well the very cool thing about doing it with glazing liquid is once that dries it's behind acrylic polymer so then you can paint acrylic on top of it and the graphite won't keep bleeding into the paint so let me show you what I mean by that I'm trying to remember which one of these I did with glazing liquid ha 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 I think it was this one 
Okay, let's just see if I know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's just see if I know what I'm talking about. You never know. Okay, so let's grab a little yellow because that'll really show it if the graphite bleeds. And I believe I covered this. Yeah. See that? See how I'm putting the yellow back down over the graphite and it's staying put? That's because of the glazing liquid layer that I put down over it. Okay, so do you get me on that? Are there any questions? Let me check real quick and see if we've got anybody that has any questions. I'm just gonna... Hi Sue Gregory! You're in the UK and it's midnight and you're awake to watch my show. Bless your heart! You're awesome! You are so awesome! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Um, that's terrific. I love to. I love it when there are folks from across the pond, looking at at stuff. Um, do you have any questions for me, Sue, about what we're doing here with the sketch wash pencil? Because if you do, just pop it right there in the chat box. Or for that matter, if you have any questions about uh, any acrylic paint, I'm gonna talk to the camera here for a sec. Any acrylic painting questions you might have just let me know because that's my job, right? Um, so yeah, we're talking about the sketch wash pencil. I'll put the, um, I'll put it back into the overhead. I hope I'm not making you dizzy here. The sketch wash, can you see that pretty clearly? And like I said, I'll put that note into the, um, I'll put that link into the, the show notes so you can link right to it. But here we go, the, um, the layer that I just put down in yellow had that glazing liquid behind it and let it dry and so now I can glaze on top of it again without moving that graphite around. This is a pretty powerful little tool y'all. It's uh, You can do some pretty cool stuff. Take a look at this little guy. Just some fun stuff. Come back with some colored pencil. This is the Pigma Micron pen. Let's pull that out so you can take a look at that. That's the Pigma Micron archival ink I'm gonna put it on a whiteboard so it's easier for you to see archival ink on that Pigma Micron and um, Sue says you haven't seen those pencils uh, but you just purchased some ink tints are they similar you know I have not seen the ink tints I don't know so the, the, the ink tints might be a UK um, might be a UK a product that we don't have here in the US I'm not entirely positive but you know the sketch wash um, is pretty widely available here in the US now um, if you if you can't get them in the UK I'd be very surprised be very surprised if you can't get them in the UK because uh, they've been around a very long time and as a matter of fact I just wanted to throw out this company here um, you know, I, I do educational consulting for Golden, and um, we're a small U.S. company, right? Kind of family-owned kind of company, small stuff, not a giant conglomerate. And that's the thing I like about the general sketch wash people, that they're also a small company, and they make great pencils. I love their pencils. So I like to support, you know, mom and pop shops right so that's why one of the reasons I like the sketch wash but the other reason is I've tried a lot of water soluble graphite pencils and this is the best one so in my humble opinion this is the best pencil so far and you know what they also make that great brush soap the one in the brown tub called masters brush soap I love that soap. That's a really good soap. Get your brushes really clean. And I also use their hand soap. So, you know, I don't work for I don't work for these people. I don't, you know, I'm not doing a commercial for them or anything, but I just want you to know when I when I find good products that work well and are made well, I figure doggone, I should be telling you all about it, right? Because those are the companies I want to support because I want to continue to buy their products and then you know tell all my pals and then if we all support that really good product they'll stay in business you know that's my whole thing right so um, let's go back here I want to show you a couple of things on the sketch wash I'll go back to the overhead 
and just a couple of things you can do with it that I think is kind of cool. So um, let me lay down, I'll just lay down some sketch wash graphite here. Now I'm going to get a little titanium white. I've got a little water and titanium white. Might be hard to see in the camera, I'm tip it. And a little tiny bit of yellow of uh, phthalo just for color so you can see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to come back and put it down and it's going to muddy up, right? Because I've got a little water, I've got a little paint. Let's get some more paint. Look at that, it's so yummy, right? But the nice thing about this is it's not, I'm not completely losing my line. You know, I can, I've still got my line back there. So you get a little bit of texture, you get a little bit of history, what we painters call pentimento. You can kind of see what's going on back there. And then a kind of a neat thing, they've got this metal end on the, the pencil. So you can kind of come back and do some cool scraffito. I hope you guys can see that on the camera. Really cool scraffito. Let me do a little bit uh, lighter color because it might be hard to see or actually a little bluer. Let's let's see if it shows up when I do the blue. I just think, you know, how hard could it be? You've got a, a pencil and a paintbrush and a couple of these tiny tubes and there you go. You're set for the weekend in Mexico. <laughs> Okay, there. You can see that a little bit more because a little bit better contrast. Right? Love this. Love it, love it, love it. So I just thought I would share that with you all. Um, let me do a couple things here. So if I'm using the um, general sketch wash and the Pigma, the Pigma, um, the graphic Pigma Graphic is uh, archival ink and it's not water soluble. So, but you do have to let it dry. So if I am using the Pigma, take the time to put my cap back on. Just checking, let's see. Okay, should be dry. I have actually put it down and gone back on it so fast that it um, that it bled so you could do that but the cool thing about that is you've got water soluble water soluble and non water soluble in the same piece so that means I can play around with that that whole idea right water soluble non water soluble kinda playing right so I hope that's helpful. Have fun with it. Now, the other thing I want to point out to you is these little boards that I work on. These little, um, I'm going to try and hold that up so you can see how thin that is. These, I get these from a company called clearbags.com and they're archival backing boards. And I really like them. I do lots and lots of studies on them. You can also get them in gray. So when I do plein air um, in oil or acrylic, I like to use the gray ones. But the cool thing about this is, if you, I, you can get a hundred of these for 16 bucks. Now that means that you can generate tons and tons and tons of work. And you don't get caught in that idea that, oh my gosh, it's a $30 canvas. What if I mess it up, right? So here you go, 10, 12 minutes fun stuff, right? Are they masterpieces? No, they're not masterpieces, but they're fun and I'm having a good time and they're like cookies. They're like potato chips. Let's do a million of them, right? Okay, and you know how you get better doing stuff? You do a million of them. <laughs> so do a million of them, right? These little boards, I'll be sure to put the link to clear bags um, in the show notes so you can grab those. Sue, 
Yeah. Oh, they have fabulous reviews on Amazon and you just ordered one. Yay! You rock my world, Sue Gregory. That's awesome. Yes. We like to support those really good businesses and the ones that make great products, you know, the the sketch wash. The people are super cool. I've met them at trade shows and stuff and they're always super cool. They come over and they give me pencils and they give me bars of soap and stuff and I'm like, you're giving me soap? You're trying to tell me something? Do I need a shower? Or... <laughs> no, they're super cool. The hand soap, the master's hand soap, they're super cool. So I hope that's helpful. I really do because they are awesome. Sue, you're going to love them. I want you to send me, um, I want you to do something with the, the sketch wash and send me a JPEG, okay? Because honestly, they are, they are amazing. Um, and that's that's great that you're supporting them. That's terrific. I'm going to just open Facebook really fast and see if we have anybody in Facebook um, because I have two, uh, two YouTubes running at the same time. So I have this YouTube that's, that's on the YouTube channel and we're simultaneously broadcasting into Facebook. So I, who says you can't be in two places at one time? You know, I figured it out. I can be in two places at one time. We're all Star Trek over here, right? Okay, so I think I might have just accidentally turned my YouTube off. Hang on a second. I don't know how I did that, but I might have. Oops. Sorry, guys. I think, hang, hang with me, hang with me. I just did a really silly thing, I think. I think I just did a really silly thing and turned off, um, accidentally turned off my stream that would that would be pretty funny right not really hold on sorry guys <laughs> oh my god this is so funny okay i think i'm back i think i'm back you never know with me I'm doing 43 things over here at the same time, so hopefully, hopefully that's, that's, we're back. Uh, that was kind of crazy. I just accidentally closed the window. I am not allowed to do stuff and talk at the same time. <laughs> okay, let me see if Sue has a question. Can you still, st still see me? Okay, good. That was the, the weirdest thing ever, um, that I closed the window and I went away on YouTube. So, but I was still there in cyberspace. That's, that's kind of scary. I always like to say that my, my online um, avatar, she has better hair than I do. <laughs> okay, so questions for me. Um, Claudia, hey, Claudia, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. Um, you've never heard about these pencils. Yeah, they're pretty awesome, aren't they? They're pretty terrific, and you know they're not expensive. I mean, I don't know, a couple bucks maybe. Um, they're not expensive and really, really wonderful, especially if you're traveling, right? <laughs> ah, I know, Sue. Yeah, I'm just, I'm cracking myself up over here. Um, if you're traveling, the really cool thing about these is you literally don't need anything but this pencil and some paper, like a watercolor block or something, and, um, and you don't even really need a paintbrush. You could smudge it with your finger. I mean, it just doesn't get any easier than that. So one of the things that's kind of cool about that is there's no reason to pack like all of these materials and all of this gear and make it really hard to do stuff. You literally just a pencil and a piece of paper because you're always going to have water, right? You're going to have a water bottle or you're going to be near some place that has a water fountain or stuff. Claudia, you doing great? I'm glad to hear it. I am glad to hear it. So any more questions for me in terms of um, you know, acrylic paint questions, because that's what I'm here for. I, I like to show you techniques and stuff like that, but I always want to know if you have questions about any kind of techniques or products or anything like that that you're doing out there that you may need some help with. Um, you know, 
pouring things, uh, gels and mediums. It's a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. So anything in that regard for me? While you all think about that, I'm going to pull up something on the screen I want you to take a look at. This is the fabulous girl with the green eyes. Um, this is from Matisse, of course, and this piece, we are going to be starting this one in our uh, Creative Flow live class. We're starting that tonight at 7 p.m. Now, Sue, I know that's going to be way early in the morning for you, but we it will be recorded so you can you can see that but that's the um, the workshop channel the acrylic diva workshop channel so if you go over to um, acrylic diva workshops on uh, YouTube I'm just gonna put it in here whoops there you go if you google that on um, on YouTube you'll find that channel and uh, there's a uh, a two-week free subscription so you can go in there and check out a couple of classes and everything that's already posted there you can um, you can see that and and work through those projects that are already there and then three uh, three times a week a uh, three times a month excuse me three times a month we're at 7 p.m. and then once a month we're at 4 p.m. so that you all across the pond can um, can get in there and see it live um, so that's a kind of a cool thing I'm loving that class I'm actually doing it today at 7 p.m. I know it's Wednesday but today I'm doing it because I have to travel I'm starting a, a four-day lecture tour tomorrow and I have been just looking so forward to doing creative flow tonight because it's an hour of very meditative stuff and and all that kind of cool music and uh, I look forward to it every week it's my it's my hour of bliss it really is so Sue you need help you need help with everything just starting to explore this side of your creativity taking it all in like a sponge yay all right all right all right all right well listen you know just to throw stuff out at you Claudia has done online courses with me. Claudia, did you do the seven week painting challenge? I'm trying to remember which course you did with me. Um, but right now I've got two really good courses um, online that are, pre, you know, they're pre-recorded so you can pop in there and do them whenever you want. I've got people in the UK and Australia and all over the place that are doing that because of the time change. And I'm going to put a little link right here for you. You go over to that link and that is my online school and that um, that will give you, there's some free courses there. Paint Like Monet is free. How to Mount Canvas on, pa uh, How to Mount Paper on Canvas is free. And then there are two very detailed programs there. One's called the 20 Minute Artist and the other one is called the Artist Think Up. And they are both geared so that you can do things in chunks and bits and you don't have to have hours and hours of time and everything is really detailed for you and you don't need a ton of experience I mean I'm all about empowering you all to get to get going you know and that's one of the things like the sketch wash you know you can sit and do this while you're watching TV or you know waiting for a cake to bake or something. <laughs> oh, that sounds so good, a cake right now. Mm, must be getting dinner time. Uh, <laughs> I should have cake for dinner. No, no, I shouldn't. Um, so I want to invite you over to the, the Think Up and the 20 Minute Artist. And you know what I'm going to do? I've got I've got coupons for both of those courses that you can save a hundred dollars so let me go in here really quick and find that coupon for you I'm gonna look so deranged because I'm gonna be staring at the screen and not looking at the camera so it looks like I'm a little cuckoo you know um, but let me grab those coupons for you because I want you to be able to 
really a save some money number one and number two I want you to be able to get your creativity mojo going and not make it hard it doesn't need to be hard it should never be hard okay so the artist think up I am going to put give me one second here while I find the coupon for you okay here's the coupon for the artist think up I'm going to paste it right into the chat box for you and go right there where did my chat box go there it is okay so here is the that's for the artist think up that link right there will take you directly to a page where you, you get $100 off the course, number one. Number two, I'm going to go back out here and I'm going to find the other one called the 20-minute um, the artist. And that, I've got a, um, a coupon for that. And that will save you 100 bucks too, I believe. If I am correct, yes. Okay, so here we go. This is $100 off. And if for any reason these don't work, you guys just email me and I'll fix it for you, okay? Let me pop that back into the chat box. Okay, there you go. This one is for the 20 minute artist. There you go. So, two coupons there. Each one of those will save you a hundred bucks. And you know, Sue, if you're just starting out, boy, it's hard to say. I mean, both those programs are geared to give you stuff in chunks. I think you might like the 20 minute artist if you're just beginning because you know it's it's really geared to get if you're busy and stuff like that you know it's geared to get you going and it also has what I love <laughs> I know you're gonna think I'm nuts but I, I created this thing called studio in a box so you really literally have I'm gonna show you all the paint you need for the program right here this is it these four little bottles I ah, hope I don't drop them these four little bottles of paint that's everything you need for the program the 20 minute artist and a couple of paint brushes super simple thank you no you're kind you're so kind Sue thank you um, yeah so if for some reason those coupons don't work just shoot me an email and I'll make sure they work okay excuse me one sec I've got a tickle okay Claudia have you been working have you been doing some stuff what's going on you're in Arizona aren't you are you in Arizona for some reason I thought you were in Arizona um, there's a delay so when I talk to you all it's gonna be a couple seconds like 30 seconds before your answer comes up so I'm not ignoring you it's just that there's a delay okay all right um, any more questions for me I'm just looking at the chat box to see if there's anything there I need to take care of no doesn't look like it okay good good um, now here's the thing I like to give away paint I love to give away paint and I've only got I think I've only got the two of you in the room let me just see if that is correct let me let me just see I think that's correct um ba -doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. yeah I think that's right so I you know the only problem that I have is that I can't send stuff to the UK there's some kind of um, uh, what do they call it custom thingy that if I send paint to the UK so Sue if you have a US do you have if you have a US address you can email me I would love to send you some paint samples I'm showing it to the camera like this looky <laughs> I'm a nut the paint samples are on the other side of the room but I would love to send you and Claudia um, oh, oh your Instagram feed Claudia oh great why did I think you were in Phoenix where did I get that who knows but um, Claudia shoot me your your um, mailing address and I'll pop a little goodie bag in the mail to you just you know just for taking the time out of your busy day and and Sue for you staying up late 
<laughs> because you stayed up late, she'd get a present. But somehow we need to get you a US address or something like that. I'm not really sure how that whole custom thingy works. I'm looking into it because I get people on the YouTube live and I want to send presents and then it's like, oh my God. Please do not worry. I'm happy with your company and look forward to your classes. Oh, aren't you sweet? Very sweet. I would love to send you something. If you can figure that out, let me know, okay? Because I do have another UK person who, um, I don't know how it forwards from the US or something magical happens. Something magical. Yeah, Claudia, no problem. I'll pop something in the mail. Just shoot me an email with your with your mailing address. Okay? All right. Any more big questions for me that you all have in terms of, you know, acrylic paint questions, color mixing, anything like that that you need to um, troubleshoot? I, oh, you know something? Um, oh, I'm going to do a commercial. <laughs> I'm going to do a commercial. I'm the world's worst at this. Okay, so here's my book. If you don't have my book, and especially Sue, if you're just starting out, I do want to do a plug for this because one of the reasons I wrote this book is that it for people exactly like you that are trying to get started, don't know where to begin, so... I'm going to go to the overhead camera for a quick second and do a little plug for my own book. But trust me, it will help you. We're going to get a little bit of a glare. Let's tip that so the glare goes away a little bit. But there's lots of stuff you can do in here. Easy setup. You know, it doesn't take a ton of... of uh, materials. This one you're actually using stuff you find. Um, found objects. The, this right here happens to be the label from the Pellegrino soda can. I never throw anything away. Uh, this is the sketch wash pencil right there. That's a sketch wash. Um, color mixing, how you can mix color easily. Uh, easy things to do. So there you go. That's my little commercial. <laughs> and uh, uh, Claudia, you oh you have it. Do you are you have them? You have the book. Oh, I'm so glad. Sue's rushing over to Amazon. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> what would we do without Amazon? Oh my gosh. I ugh. I don't know what I would do. It's it's amazing. I love Amazon. I love them. So yeah, if you have questions about it, Sue, once you get your hands on it, if you have questions about it, just pop me an email or sh find me over on Facebook and uh, shoot me a message. And I'm, I'm here. That's my whole thing in life is to help you guys out with paint and acrylic paintings and creativity and stuff like that. Because my feeling about it is... I plan to take over the world with artists, right? I'm, I'm on a mission. <laughs> I'm all subversive over here. I'm going to take over the world with artists. Yeah, okay? All right. So um, any, any more questions? Anything you guys need? I want to just make sure I've covered everything. Um, Sue has it in her basket. Yay! <laughs> I love it. I love it. And do me a favor, if you do like it, and certainly only if you like it, give me a good review over there on Amazon, will you? Because I like for people to know that it's useful, they got some use out of it, and that kind of stuff, okay? So there you go. All right. Well, I think I'm going to be wrapping it up here a um, little bit early, but uh, I think we got some good information there. I'm going to go back over to the sketch wash pencil overhead real quick. Let me get back over here to my camera. And you can have a look at our sketch wash, a couple of those. This is the one we did today. And I got to tell you, you find uh, you find some Richard Diebenkorn and you take a look at it. I'm going to put him in the chat box right now. You probably know him because he is famous, famous painter, Richard Diebenkorn, can I spell? Okay, there you go. 
Richard Diebenkorn, take a look at his Ocean Park series, Ocean Park, and you will see that I'm completely stealing from him. Totally stealing, but I figure if you're going to steal from somebody, you should steal from somebody good. <laughs> right so steal from somebody good find someone you love and steal from them okay that's not my uh, that's not just me who said that that is also Picasso that was one of Picasso's big quotes I don't come to borrow I come to steal so find someone who inspires you and uh, you know walk a mile in their moccasins do a do a few riffs on what they're doing and it will teach you a lot it really will okay all right kiddos out there in acrylic land and art land um, keep painting whatever you do keep painting keep me posted on what you're doing and I will either see you online on Facebook or YouTube or some random street corner you know you never can tell where I'm gonna pop up right all right everybody have a great afternoon and a great rest of the week I will be checking in with you later if you need me pop me an email okay and I will I will answer those alright take care everybody I'll talk to you later bye for now